you know much about Carrie Lake, the politician in America? Oh, yes. yes. The one that's got her, got her nose firmly up um, Donald Trump's asshole. And as most people seem to think she's trying to pitch to be a deputy running mate, uh, we tried to be to win in, I think, Arizona twice, lost both times, took the Trump um, handbook out and said, you know, it's been stolen from me. I was the winner. So she was being interviewed by a uh, Republican conservative uh, blogger, uh, media person called Tim Miller. And they had an interaction at the end of the conversation. You can tell because they're about to leave. That is just chef's kiss Mwah, perfectly and beautifully. Remember, he is Republican. That's where he votes. But he is also someone who won't take any shit and wants to speak the truth. And I've just got this to play for you to see if you enjoy it. I'm not okay with that. I want you to be able to talk whatever you guys say on the circus. I want to be able to have conservative students not being shamed on our universities. This is universities. like a golden age for conservative student speech. It's like, it's the best time ever. If you're a conservative student, you want to talk, you have huge platforms. Turning, you, I've seen, I went to watch you speak at Turning Point USA. All these kids have huge audiences that come to see them and that's great, that's fine. They're all this is the victim mentality. The, the right who always talk about snowflakes on the other side, they are actually, it's a projection thing. The victim mentality that all our views are being oppressed as they've got 17 million Twitter follows and, and speaking on all the biggest news platforms. And this is what, this is the conservative commentator himself saying, this is actually a really good time for conservative voices. Well, speaking, they're not, their speech is another threat. There weren't any cops coming to shut down the Turning Point USA thing. But here, here's the thing. You care, you say you care about the fentanyl crisis and our kids. I deep care deeply. Okay, right. So if you care so How deeply many about this, couldn't, that's you, fake. couldn't you actually do something about it if you stopped the bullshit about the last election? If you had just acknowledged that, that Trump had lost and acknowledged that you had lost, you'd probably, you might, you'd probably be in good shape to do something. You probably would have won your governor's race had you, I mean, had, you, had you just talked about things people cared about instead of the election fraud. So sometimes Tim. don't you ever think to yourself, I wish Correct. I could just stop talking about this fake thing that Donald Trump made me make up so that I could actually talk about the stuff that's important? Because we agree about fentanyl. I agree. I wish we could deal with that. I talked about that all the time of the campaign, Trump. I'm sorry you weren't with me. You. I'm sorry you weren't with me every step of the way. The people of Arizona understand me, and they know me, and they care about me, and, and I care about them. You. <laughs> and I care about that. Getting the better, freeing the people who are held politically, uh, political okay. prisoners, yeah. Absolutely. Right. I think you are still a little extreme. That's okay, though. It's good okay. to see you again. It's wonderful to see you. We can keep doing this. That's right. We I'd love to. This. We have some areas of agreement. Love to. We agree on the fentanyl thing. And then you get into the other stuff. Oh, but the other sorry, stuff is what I'm you have to do. The other I'm stuff sorry I'm not making win. you happy. The other stuff is what you, I don't know Listen. why you're touching me. The other stuff is what you have <laughs> I know. to do to win, is the thing. That's sorry, the thing. I'm, I'm a mom. I, do, I'm sorry, I'm a mom. That's okay. I like to touch it, too, but yeah. you know, in an interview setting, it's a little uncomfortable. I'm sorry <laughs> that we don't agree on everything, but what I am not sorry about yeah, okay. is that I we think that go. you... I do believe that we can agree that we both love America. We do. Oh, for God's sake. I do think that you are okay with Donald Trump trying to end the American experiment last time. So that makes me wonder how sincere your love is. But okay. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your time. Good time. There you go. As a little chef's kiss, Joey, you want to wow, comment anything that on that? It's awkward. That was the most insincere interaction from someone basically cosplaying being an empathetic human being. Oh, yuck. That was gross. Yeah, vomit, but, wow. but people are people are vomiting. Literally, people are vomiting. Well, not literally, because it's an emoji. But you know what I'm saying. Look in oh. the in the chat. Um, but you know how how great that there is someone who is even on her side of politics that's still prepared to go. Let's let's just stop all this bullshit because that's what's happening in America at the moment. Obviously, this week there were some pretty big votes that came in. Republicans lost all of them. They lost all of them. You know, several states, uh, there were, I think, no, it wouldn't be Colorado. One of the states uh, codified uh, medicinal, not medicinal, recreational cannabis. Other states codified uh, you know, abortion rights within to their constitution so it couldn't ever be taken away. And the Republican Party is fighting all of these battles, all of these culture war battles, and they're losing. And they're losing. And so when you look at next year's uh, presidential election, I still don't think it's anyone's to win or lose, especially if Joe Biden's running. Anyone against Trump wins except Biden, and then it's a toss-up, in my opinion. Um, but if they can tag, and he's been bragging about the Supreme Court, and if they can tag that to him through the election cycle, the Supreme Court, the overturning of Roe versus Wade, has been losing all these local elections. So if they can tag that to him based on his own words, that might be the, the way to get through without an, uh, a Donald Trump at the end of next year. Maybe. I mean, I, I think that guy, um, 
DIY guru in the chat saying that he's a former Republican PR manager. Um, I, I I find that he he hit a real nugget of truth there that like mm -hmm. maybe if you you were essentially a bit more authentic and talked about what people cared about and that sort of thing. And obviously they've got a button issue about fentanyl or whatever. Um, but yeah, they're hitting the culture war. They're hitting the the election stolen. They're hitting these things that stir up a lot of a lot of press, yeah. but not necessarily a lot of follow through because they're not issues that people deeply care about. You want to win elections and hold elections, or hold hold results from elections, then you tap into what people actually give a shit about. And and I'm I'm sure like if you you'd logged into a Facebook comment forum or twitter or something like that it looks like people give a shit about these things yeah there's certainly a lot of engagement and that's good for the algorithm right but it's not deep